So let's talk about how blame is the absolute worst thing you can do. Why do we blame? One of the reasons we blame is because we don't know how to deal with reality. Something goes wrong. False ego says, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything wrong. And if I can find someone to blame, that will prove that I'm right. So we can't bear the emotional pain of acknowledging that we're wrong. Blame pacifies us. Blame makes us feel good. The problem with blame is it doesn't solve anything because the problem doesn't go away just because we point our finger at someone. Now, if it is our fault, which often it is, at least to some degree, and we don't acknowledge it, then how are we ever going to improve? So blame is pretty much the opposite of introspection. So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta said, the cure for blame is to introspect, to find out, well, what's wrong with me? Now, why? Because I'm the only one that I can improve. People do not like to be told to change. People do not like to be told what to do. If you find a fault in someone and you tell them, you have this fault, you should change, generally, it doesn't work. Change is not easy. People don't like to change. They didn't ask you for your advice. But if you look at a situation and you ask the question, how could I do something to improve it? What is my fault in this? Or how could I improve myself to make this better? Then we make progress. If we have an environment where everyone is blaming one another, nothing happens. We want to be in solution and a solution-oriented environment. It doesn't even matter whose fault it is. What matters is what needs to be done. If I have to acknowledge it's my fault, why not? If it will make the situation better, that's what I should be concerned with. Not my ego, not my agenda, but the agenda of the Krishna consciousness movement. Prabhupada's agenda, not my agenda. If I'm at fault and it's getting in the way of Prabhupada's agenda, then I should readily admit it and correct it because that's what's important. My ego is not, is not what's important. I didn't join ISKCON to blow up my ego. That's not why I came here. You don't join a spiritual movement to become honored, to be respected. You join a spiritual movement to learn how to respect others, to learn how to be introspective, to learn how to become humble. That's why we join. That's what this movement is all about. And if we don't align with those values, it's not going to work for us, and it's not going to work for the people around us. Hare Krishna.